Hey, what's up? It's been a while, um, and I feel like all I do is make update videos on my channel, but I'm hoping that will change in the future, but this is just another update. So I've been away for a while, and there's been a few reasons. And it's not like I've actually been away, I just haven't been really filming anything in my life. Uh, first of all, I've been sick, and you can probably tell that my voice is a little shot right now. Um, so I'm just getting over a cold, but hopefully I'll be better probably by like tomorrow or next week. But that had me down for about a week, so it's been a process trying to get through that. The most exciting news that I have, I don't know if it's exciting for anyone else besides me, but I'm staying in Japan for another six months. And, and there are a few reasons why I'm staying in Japan. I think the biggest reason is that I want to continue with my Japanese studies. Six months is not enough time to learn a language and actually have it stick. I think to get to a degree where you can freely have conversations and talk a lot and be able to use the language to a more native degree you need at least a year so i'm gonna stick it out for another six months and see if i can reach that level also i think if i stopped now i would have a harder time remembering how to use my japanese afterwards especially since in america or basically in Pretty much any other place besides Japan, you don't really use Japanese unless you're with other Japanese people. And the people that I know in California, America, pretty much anywhere besides Japan, don't speak Japanese and it's not a place where I need to use Japanese every day like I do here. So the immersion factor is really important in learning Japanese too, so staying here for another six months will really help with that, I think. Now, I have been trying, um, well, I mean, besides getting sick, I have been trying to make more video content, but uh, it's just been a little difficult trying to figure out what to film. I've also been contemplating getting like a camera for vlogging because I have my DSLR with me, but I don't have anything that I can carry around. And my phone camera is not super great in certain lighting, so I don't really want to use that. I'm also going to try and cut my videos a little shorter, uh, try to make a little less long content just because I don't have any more room on my computer to keep storing all this stuff. So it's been a little bit of a struggle um, whether I like keep footage or delete footage off of my computer and the, the editing process and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully from now on, um, in order to have more room on my computer and also in order for you guys not to get bored so quickly in my videos. I don't know if that's actually been happening but I kind of figure like if it's 20 or 30 minutes long and it's just me talking it's probably not super entertaining but hopefully you guys like kind of like stick through it just because it makes my self-esteem go up a little bit. Um, but I'm hoping to make more videos especially because it's the holidays coming up and uh, I have nothing to do like literally nothing to do the friends that I've made in Japan a lot of them are going abroad uh, either back home or going on vacation somewhere during the uh, winter holiday and that's not something that I'm doing because I'm cheap and I don't want to spend a lot of money and also probably the main reason why I'm not going anywhere is because which is the next update is I'm moving so I'm actually leaving Shibuya it's not a choice it's a um, it's a mandatory requirement because my lease has been um, canceled so I'm moving to another place I just found a place and I'm trying to finalize that so I'll give you more details about that in another video in the future especially when I'm moving uh, and also I really want to make a video about how to find an apartment how to find housing or just you know uh, ways to live in Japan because I think finding housing is one of the most stressful and most detail-oriented part of moving to Japan just because there's 
so many different options there's so many different pricing points and there's so many different fees that a lot of people don't know about so hopefully i can make a video just explaining all of that and if you are interested in moving to japan then you can use that and it'll be super cool because i'll be giving you all the information uh and it'll be a lot of stuff that i didn't know when i first came and screwed me over 100 percent and then we can all live in japan together you'll shop finally i mean this isn't really an update but i think i just haven't been really making that much video content because i want to take the camera places and because i don't really have a portable camera to do it i've been kind of postponing those video ideas and the other thing is you know i do want to travel within japan or even just travel around tokyo but i haven't really sat down and worked with my finances to see how much money I, not how much money i'm able to spend but how much money i want to spend because personally i'm a very i like to use the word frugal and not cheap i'm a frugal person so i don't like to spend money if i don't have to and it's not like i want to spend all my money while i'm in japan as well i want to make sure i have some when i go back home or if i want to travel other places as well i want to make sure i have that money in order to do it. and it's like i i'm just usually the kind of person that doesn't like to buy things either like it has to be something that i want really badly or like clothes that look super unique and good and everything like that to for me to actually want to buy it um, everything besides food. I'll spend a lot of money on food, but otherwise I don't really uh, spend money on excursions or personal items and things like that. In contrast to that, I do want to get a vlogging camera sometime soon in order to bring people around places and also kind of like get over it's not really a fear but like the being uncomfortable with like holding a camera and filming myself in public i think if i'm going to get comfortable doing that it should be a place like japan because i'll be speaking english and they won't know anything that i'm saying anyway so like even if they think it's weird it's they still don't understand so it's okay i mean that's like my mindset but we'll, we'll see so if you have any recommendations on vlogging cameras, especially ones that do the little flip screen thing, because I have a camera now that I use and I'll upload another video really soon of me trying to do a vlog outside, like vlogging outside, but it's really not. It's just me kind of talking to a camera inside and then I film little pieces when I go outside. The camera that I'm using right now, it doesn't have a flip screen, so I can't really see myself. So I, it's really important that a camera has the flip screen so I know like what I'm recording. Because I might just be recording like a stranger behind my back the whole time instead of my actual face, which is fine, but that's not really the content that you want to see, right? So that's the update right now. I feel like this video is going to be pretty short which is on the better side uh, i still need to kind of figure out like timing and all that kind of stuff and i'm still pretty new to all this video editing and video recording stuff so just bear with me as i get through this phase in my youtube channel and all that kind of stuff and uh hopefully you guys will stick around hopefully you guys enjoy watching and like are okay with me just like being hundo p and stuff but um cool thanks for listening to this update and sorry i've kind of been out of touch but from now on i will try to make more content whether you like it or not all right peace